All right, second day. Uh, weight is uh, two, 341. So literally I gained 20 pounds. So that's what I was telling y'all yesterday. The last workout. These new things right here, sleeves are excellent. I love them, best sleeves I ever had. They're even better than uh, SBDs. Anderson Power Lifting. Uh, I've done about five sets already on the push press. I'm gonna try to get about 100 reps today. All I'm doing is going through the motions, trying to wake the muscles back up. It's really cold in here, so it took forever to break a sweat. So I'll try to get 10 more. I think I got a few more sets on this, but I love this because you got to worry about spotting or anything like that. So. Shoulders feel trashed after yesterday's shrugs. So, but we're back on a good start. Ate a salad from Chipotle, a power bar from Nash. Nash power bars are excellent. They're made over here in Ohio. And uh, Belvita and a cup of coffee and a bunch of water today. And I started this workout with uh, Monster Certified pre-workout, so. We're on the roll again. We're gonna keep it going. Uh, probably won't get every set filmed on this because it's kind of redundant when I'm building my base. But I'll do some uh, light dumbbell presses here in a minute. All right, in between sets, try to get rid of this belly again. Doing some leg raises. Ain't pretty, but my core is strong, but it's fat. Get my knees crunching, that's good. Uh, 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 All right, dumbbell uh, presses. I'm gonna start at 40 and move up from there. Did about 100 reps. On the presses, still doing ab work. So here we go. These are really light. I like to work a little bit of speed and quickness because when you turn 55, your speed and quickness runs out. All right, 50 pound dumbbells. Trying to get the little muscles to activate again. I do the rotator cuff exercises during commercials, watching TV like this. And then I do arm circles in the morning. Down, remember when doing that in your football coach, you should yell at you. So I'm loosening them up. Going to Dr. Houck at uh, Shenango Spine Center tonight. I got one out here and one out here. So that should help out a lot. So, so little things that add up to the big things where you can bench 400 pounds again after taking, I don't know, three weeks off. Hey, gotta go do more abs. Stomach, I'm gonna do uh, 55 pound dumbbells. Fifty fives felt light. I'm gonna go to sixties. <sighs> Probably not gonna do too many more sets of this. My goal is just to get up to hundred pounds this year, which is gonna be easy. <clears throat> I remember doing hundred fifty pounds like this. Each arm. <sighs> One 
thing I learned, getting old, don't rush it. All right, we're gonna do uh, 70 pounds now. <clears throat> First day back shoulders, 70 pounds. I'll take it. Oh! People wonder why I touch my shoulders when I'm doing this. Probably because I've always touched my shoulder. They're like, oh, it messes up the rotation and all that. And I'm like, no, I've always done it this way. Same way on presses, I always go down here. But, uh, it was good weight. I can feel this arm getting a little wobbly. That's the one I think I got a bone spur in. Anyhow, that's enough shoulders. I think we're gonna do some sledgehammers next. All right, need some lever with a little bitty hammer because my wrists are actually shot from the last few days of working out, bending reds and all that. So just take a hammer here, a little light hammer. It's a six pounder. And you hold it out in front of you and you take it to your face, but don't hit your face. Like that, I think you get it. Right there. Oh, and you just stretch your wrist out. Just like that. Oh. And you switch. Oh, I can feel that workout. Oh. I can tell I did grippers and bent for the last three or four days. There's nothing like a good sledgehammer workout. You pick it up off the floor, hold it out like that. From the rear. Great tricep workout. Push it up like this, and the forearms. And then you intimidate somebody and point at them. Oh, you, I'm gonna get your. Just fun stuff I do. Sledgehammer workout with a little pound, a little, little six pounder, getting the movements in. All right, y'all remember I was gonna show y'all some little secrets? Well, here you go, ready? Blacksmith, a blacksmith friend of mine invented this. I think I've showed it to a few people. But you ready? It's a loadable sledge, okay? One day I showed up and I had something broke or whatever. And he said, oh, let me see that. And he stuck it down on the stick. And you take it here. It's been done before. I'm pretty sure it has. Just like that. Put it on there. Take your loadable here. Take it down like that. There you go. This top, this is probably about, I don't know, six, seven pounds. I don't know. Here. Take it here. There you go. That's your nice little. I like it for the supinating and pronating. And you can load it. Just like that. Wow, my forearms are shot. That's strong. Just like that. Loadable. Need to do this. Just take it, shove it down there. We put a bolt right through there. Just load it up. Supinate, lay it on the thing, pronate, there you go. Or you can always duct tape it if you can't afford nothing like that. <laughs> All right, going up to eight pounds. Like I said, I'm not feeling this today, but I gotta do it. Oh. Well, I guess I'm warming up. I'll show you some uh, ways of learning sledgehammer right after this set. You'll like it. Oh, never mind. Left up. 
probably the fifth time in the year I've done sledgehammers. But I'll get back up 16 pounds. I'm not worried. All right, I'm going to show y'all some auxiliaries for this. And it helps right, a lot. Here's an auxiliary. Now, when you're trying to get used to a heavy weight, you're going to take the hammer. And you're going to simply put it right there. It'll slide this over. Okay? You can choke up on the handle just like this. Choke up. All you're going to do is you're going to slide the hammer off. And you're going to try to hold it. Just like that. Just hold it. And you can put it down. Switch hands. Okay, this builds up from picking it off the ground. Here, okay, you're just gonna hold it. Okay, all right, then you get real strong. Okay, you move to the next one down here. Okay, smaller box right here. Okay, just slide it off the box and you're gonna hold it. Same way here, slide it off the box. Okay, gonna hold it. Okay, then when you get real good, go all the way to the floor. Okay, and you pick it up. And my wrists are spent right now. So that's what you do. It's a thing, you also do it to the rear, just like here. Okay, boom, slide it right off, let it fall to the floor. It's kind of like negatives, but be careful. Okay, here, drag it off. Hold it as long as you can, let it fall to the floor. Biggest secret I learned, okay? And it helps a lot. Get real strong, which uh, I'm about to be, but I'm not gonna rush into it. I don't know if I got any world records left in me, but you never know. Okay, here's another secret, okay? Wrist wraps, don't get used to them, but you can, improve your strength with it a lot okay first you get the wrist wrap and you wrap it real tight and then you work out your wrist your lever and all that as you get stronger loosen the wrist strap until you don't need the wrist strap anymore i'm telling you it's a big secret but don't get dependent on wrist wraps the only way i use wrist wraps is when i do wow i don't even do them in 500 squats anymore so you can get used to wrist wraps, but I mean, I know the big guys are using 800 pounds, all that, absolutely do that. But loosen the wrist wrap. As you get stronger, lever in the hammer. And you wanna, what you wanna do, this is a big secret. You wanna turn all these, the sinew, ligaments, and fibers in here, you wanna turn them into piano strings. I talked about that in my uh, card ripping video, all right? What I found out is you can just, just get the ligaments and, and the sinew and everything just literally like cables in your system, okay? You can actually see the difference between sinew and a domestic turkey and a wild turkey, okay? Think about that, okay? If you wanna become wild, <laughs> do some wild things. But wrap it, do the grip, do it here and then loosen it. It'll help you a ton, trust me, I've done it. And you can do it with underhand uh, bending too, but don't get used to putting them on and thinking you're all world, because you're just cheating yourself. All right, feel a little warmed up, going to 10 pounds. Probably gonna do a couple, I'm not pushing my body today with this. I have no idea. How long the handle is, but oh, looks like I can go 12. This feels a little bit shorter than the eight, but it's still 10 pounds. So, yeah, I'll be back to 16 real quick. There you go. A few secrets on uh, sledge work. Uh, do the supinating, pronating. I do it after every workout, just like this. Believe it or not, it just, I don't know, it does, it just works it out. Really, really smooth, really, really easy. 
You don't want to have to try to get real strong in this, even though you will, but supinate, pronate, supinate, pronate. Don't try to set any records with this. Anytime you're twisting, you don't want to do a lot of weight. Twisting's bad. We don't want to Tommy John yourself. That's actually a baseball term. My nephew got that when he was throwing a 100 mile an hour slider uh, for the Orioles farm team. So bad runs in our family. <laughs> but do this, it's a nice cool down. It really is. You can use Indian clubs. It's anything just like this. You can feel the massage in the, the bicep tendon, bicep. I love these things. I love them. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's a nice little cool down. Could have got 12 today. Probably get a 14. But like I said, I'm not rushing this. I know I got strong hands. I want to keep them strong. I don't want to keep them injured. And believe me, when you injure a ligament, I've broken bones and I've injured a ligament. Takes shorter time to heal a broken bone. That's a fact. All right. All right, we're gonna do some uh, rear lever and off the floor. Uh, I did the small thing yesterday. Remember that? I showed you the uh, weight on a stick. Okay, here's what you do if you got a sledgehammer. Okay, same, it's 10 pound sledge. There you go. This helps your uh, underhand bending, but I prefer to use the small handle one because it's more like bending. But today I just uh, feeling pretty warmed up. So anytime you got a sledgehammer, you lift with a sledgehammer. So this is what you do when you start getting strong. There you go. I'll show you something fun to impress your friends with, with the, uh, the small six. This is, when you're all done, and you can play around a little bit, all right? Take a small hammer, okay, you got it in front, and you stop it in the rear. And you stop it in the front. Ah, <laughs> didn't do it. This is when you get tired now. Here, here. When you stop it, it helps your wrist, like when you're gonna bend, okay? You hear it and you go, and you push, okay? That's why I love these things right here. Here, here. You're not always gonna catch it at the right spot, but as long as you stop the momentum, okay? Wow, my arms are really shot right now. As long as you stop the momentum, that's what you want. Here, 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 okay? Now to help you with that boom, that hit when you're bending, that, that first constant hit on it, okay? That's what I love to do. Okay, right here, show you again, pop it back. You can actually feel that in your tricep too, in your forearm, here, here. Sometimes your thumb will come off, here. Oh, left is for real weak today. But that's how you do sledgehammer work. <laughs> here to help y'all. Got any questions, put in the comment below. And uh, I think I'm gonna do the triceps right now. Because I love ending with triceps. Right. Triceps. I love ending with tricep ropes. Because you get that forearm push. That's what you want. That's what I want with this. That's what I want with this. That's what I want with this. I'll show you what this is probably later. But uh, anytime you can work forearms, tricep, wrist, all in the same movement, you do it. Here, push it out. Push it out. Push it out. A little secret that I learned. You ready? Stand on one foot. You gotta create more balance in the triceps. Okay, here. Keep your shoulders out of it. Just push down. Push down. 
push down. Then you hold it, feel that pump. Get that pop off full on just like that. That's what I'm talking about. I think I got a cramp on my bicep now. Oh. Anyhow, tricep, push down, push them away. Just like sledge, push it away. Okay. It's like underarm bending, underhanded bending. Just like that, underarm bending, that would be funny. Anyhow, push it away. Push it away. Here's this right here is the movement that you want to get really, really strong. Because look, gripper, gripper. Remember to clench your butt. Remember that, gripper. It all folds into each other. I've been doing this for years. I've closed the four in competition. I was the first person to break the red nail and I can bend a red nail literally straight out of my sleep with a little bit of warm up. So that's the kind of base strength I wanna teach people to have. Base strength is what you can do walking down the street cold. Okay, and that's a number three gripper. I got a solid down gripper, I'll show you that one. That's my favorite gripper in the whole world. I wouldn't take a thousand bucks for it. Okay, it's a solid down three. I literally used to close it a hundred times when I was walking my dog in the baseball fields. But uh, I'm here to help. Got any questions, put it down below. If you got some strong friends, send them to me. Hit the notification. And uh, this is only day two. This is only day two. It's gonna get good. Uh, I'm going to try to carry it as far as I can go. I'll try to get a close four on camera for you. By the end of the year, that's, that's going to be my Christmas present to me. And uh, some strong things are going to happen. Take care. Tell your friends about me. Uh, Steve McGranahan, grip specialist, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just here to help because, I mean, I don't have any kids, so y'all are my kids, so I gotta get, you know, inherited. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.